Hello, let's take a look at tinypng.com. So I love this site. There are a couple of different um, places that do this service, but I like tinypng because pandas. Um, so uh, you are able to do up to 20 images if you have a free account. So keep that in mind. If you have a whole lot of images, you may want to like stretch this out um, and do, you know, I don't know, put them in subfolders or something so you can uh, manage them. I'm going to try to remember which images I have um, just added and, and use this tool. So what tinyPNG does is it shrinks image files, not just PNG, also JPEG. Um, and what it does is it does it on the bit level. So what happens to files is they have all this data that tells them, um, in the case of PNGs and JPEGs, what color each pixel is. And so they have this giant like data file that tells them how to draw to the screen and uh, they may not be optimized. So it might be like pixel one, you know, one A is blue, pixel two A is green, pixel three A is um, yellow or whatever. Um, I'm just kind of making that up. But what, um, what tiny PNG does is it rearranges the, the data needed to draw so that it organizes all the blue pixels um, and their coordinates and all the red pixels and their coordinates, um, something like that, so that it makes the file size way smaller. But this is what's called a lossless compression, which means it doesn't, it doesn't um, degrade the image. So you really can't, it's really difficult to tell the difference between the two. But as you see in this one, um, this like, background, transparent background panda, it was 57K and now it's 15K. It is, it's pretty remarkable um, how much you can shrink them. And they even have little um, plugins that will work with um, WordPress and Magento. So um, it's pretty cool. If you end up having um, a custom WordPress site, you can add this to it. Uh, okay, so more info, I'll let you um, read up on whatever you want, but let's just shrink some images. So in here, let me just start and get rid of all these extra things. Okay, so I know I added some screens and I can kind of tell by the size of the file. So definitely, oh, I wonder what this one is. Um, it's not even in a folder, is it? Okay, well, I'll do this one. Um, Maybe I'll just do this one. So, or, or, okay, we can look at sites too. Let's just try all the site files because I think most of them are new. So like this one's two megabytes, 1.2 megabytes, 1.3 megabytes. You don't really want anything on your site that is definitely not bigger than one megabyte. And honestly, 300 to 500 is, is, is big. Like, it, you know, it's... So yeah, keep that in mind. Um, and so here it is, you just drop them and they, they shrink. So we can see how much savings. This one, I'm assuming I probably already shrunk, but let's look at some of the bigger ones. So it went from two megabytes to 566 kilobytes. Um, so 72% savings on that one. This was 151, now it's 36. Um, as you can see, super crazy shrunk. So um, let us download. So what you can do is you can either download them all separately, but the easy thing to do is say download all. What it does is it gives you a zip file. Once it's done, if you click on it, this is on a Mac, but it's uh, similar on PC. I can, oops, I wanna make sure this is the right folder because I have a lot of them. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. So I can take that folder and then I'm just going to override it with all the, um, what I have in sites. So I'm replacing my sites images. So Tara, I'm just making sure Tara allyship, they're in just like reverse order. I'm going to copy them over and I'm going to say apply to all and then replace. And now um, my site will be much faster. Um, and yeah, yeah, we can like take a look at, the difference, let's see. I can't remember what one of the bigger ones was. Um, oh, well, I just overwrote them. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is, this is it. Um, okay. 
So <laughs> I have finished my demo. <laughs> Thank you.